Welcome back to Bilahdan, a show with an accent for those without one. Today is a very special day. We usually don't have this, but we had live music and uh, live band, and we have a superstar here, a local, and he plays uh, going to play music, and we have somebody I met at uh, Don Brother here in Excelsior. It was a wonderful uh, musical night. They have it there every Fridays and uh, Saturdays. And uh, he usually arrange and book uh, local artists, and they are a group in, uh, in a s uh, s uh, songwriter circle here in the Twin Cities. And uh, I, I talked to him a little bit about how he books his artists, uh, artists and how they, you know, uh, such a venue like that will be in the Twin City. It really needs to be knowing. Uh, Ahmed, about two years ago, uh, we started this group um, basically because I was missing something that I used to experience when I was in New York. There's a group called the um, Songwriters Guild, which is a professional association of songwriters. And years ago, uh, I was a member of that group, and I used to participate in meetings where people would come uh, present uh, works in progress and get positive feedback from peers and also professionals about their uh, craft as songwriters. And uh, I felt that it was something that was kind of missing in the Twin Cities. So a couple of years ago, I used uh, meetup.com, started the group Songwriter Circle Twin Cities, and uh, it really took off. It seemed to resonate with uh, a lot of songwriters, like our, our special guest here today, uh, Garrett. Um, so the people that we have in the group are everything from teenagers up to sexagenarians and beyond. Just people who are interested in using songwriting as a medium for personal expression or using songwriting to tell a particular story that they're passionate about. I starved him for you in the basement Since then my life has been in trouble But you break me Then you take me away You shake The album. I know there are local, still local uh, artists, and uh, what I like when I, I know I've, I've uh, you know I've heard you, I've seen you a few times. Th those local artists, uh, they have to have original works. Well, um, when we started doing this project about a year ago, uh, we'd been meeting for about a year, and I felt it was time to take things to a next level. And I put it to the members of the group. I said, you know, I'd like to put a compilation together, and I want people to submit work. And I had a very kind of modest and humble expectation of what might come out of the things that were submitted, but the writers blew me away. Uh, the, the quality of the material, the, uh, some people went to recording studios on their own and recorded, and um, a good number of our, there, there are 12 writers on that project, 16 different songs. The level of production and professionalism on that album, uh, Let Them Sing, really kind of blew me away. Girl, I was caught up in her spell. She made me lose my mind. She made my heart throb. She made me lose my friends. Then she made me lose my job. She said that she came from New Orleans, land of voodoo and the black magic queens, where the French Quarter echoes with the voices from the dead and the spirits walk the streets when the people go to bed. I, I know he talks very highly of you, and uh, I think he's going to sing for us a couple of songs today. Tell us a little bit about uh, how did you start, what's your relationship with music, and uh, as he was saying, you know, you know, your generation, you're really connecting to an older generation. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Uh, well, I, I initially just started out uh, playing guitar. I just wanted to learn how to play guitar at, like, I was 12 years old, and I really just wanted to be the, I wanted to be Eric Clapton. That's who I wanted to be, um, but then uh, slowly as I, I discovered more uh, dif more artists, uh, specifically the Beatles came along and uh, their album, uh, the White Album, uh, made me want to become a songwriter and I kind of shifted gears, it kind of shifted my focus as far as uh, my musicianship was concerned and I started spending way more time uh, writing songs of my own. Uh, tell us a little bit about the, the song you're going to sing today. Uh, the first one is uh, To Be a Man of Letters, 
and uh, it's actually a newer one. It's not on my current album. Um, I, I don't know what exactly to say about it. I, yeah. Playing uh, here, and he told me that your dad from Cuba. Is that true? Yeah, yeah is, my dad is born in Cuba. A lot of music came out of this part of the world. Uh, Probably. My dad, my dad was a drummer, um, and he played in a lot of bands when I was a kid. I saw a lot of his shows, um, and and I and he exposed me to a lot of a lot of different artists, um, and, and so he was instrumental in that. But so was my mom. My mom was a singer, um, and she she introduced me to a lot of different great artists like Stevie Wonder and and things like that. My dad was more like on the rock and roll side, like Cream and the Beatles, but, but they both just um, uh, kind of just offered it up. They didn't, there, was, there, was no, there wasn't any force about it. They just sort of said, hey, check this out, and it, it blew me away. So. Well, thanks so much. You're very lucky, man, to have uh, parents, and uh, you have a family of musicians, and also you have Dan Run to you. Well, thank you so much, Dan. And much. We're looking forward to uh, be there and thing. Here you have it.